Hello, I'm Rachel Iris. Welcome to my Route to Mindfulness page. I'm going to be going over some three fun mindfulness facts about the way that you see the world. In mindfulness, everything begins from the foundation of your body, which is your body's optimum health. Using facts and guidelines to help you achieve better optimum health for you as an individual will help give you the best groundwork to start improving and developing your state of mind. Navigating the way that you see the world is so important to be able to adapt and grow within yourself, as well as see people's perspectives on the world will gain you many valuable lessons along your journey. There are three ways human beings see things and see perspectives on life. So my question is, in what way do you see the world? Do you? Do you see with your eyes? The metaphorical meaning for this is thea. This is when we see things through face value, judging things by what it looks like. Have you ever walked down the street and judged someone by what they're wearing, by what they look like, and then maybe placing them into a category? You see, when we assume and presume people should act or dress or be in a certain way, and if they don't react or be in a way that you expect them to, then you can consider them as bad or, or as abnormal or weird or something like that. But, and maybe like if you ask someone a question and they disagree or challenge us in a certain way, then that, that can be insulting because they've not agreed with what we're saying. So people who see the world through face value would instantly go on to defense mode and not taking into account other people's background and culture and environment, upbringings. This situation doesn't have to be negative or aggressive and we don't have to be that way. Um, our conditioning has been placed since, you know, we were born. So these things sometimes go, yeah, I do that, but I didn't even think about doing that. It wasn't something that I intended to do, but it just happened. But just be aware of, you can be open-minded about this situation and be aware of how you are being and how you are seeing the world if you are looking at it in this way because if someone hasn't got the exact same approach to manners or to dealing with certain things in certain situations the same as you then these people who see with their eyes can be seen as as unconsidered and is a mindless way of seeing the world and it's unfortunate in our lives that we have been brought up to to kind of think this way and it's what it's about now is trying to become aware of these actions and and the way we are looking at other people and start to consider their backgrounds their upbringings and things like that so then we're not putting things and judging things from face value. Lesson two. Or maybe you see with reasoning, which in the metaphorical sense is theory. So that's the second way of us seeing life. Are you attached to seeing things in, a, in an intellectual way? Many people reject anything that they do not understand or can comprehend. So people who like facts and statistics and realism and things that are tangible may not believe in or want to hear anything about spirituality and getting to know yourself from the inside and understanding self and understanding the spiritual side of life the 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 world in a different way okay so people who have accepted and assumed in their minds that if they've not experienced something then it doesn't exist and it isn't true 
or isn't relevant and can often dismiss and these type of people can often dismiss anything or anyone with ideas that are way out of their own comfort zone so this is a mindful way of living so this is a mindful way of living but it has very limited it's a limited way of living the the perspectives on life are closed-minded um, and the the maximum capacity of learning and growing and becoming and understanding self and acceptance and forgiveness in in looking on the inside it it won't really occur to them and maybe it will occur to them but not until something severe happens to them like a loss or some some struggling that maybe that they go through could happen to them and then they might want to become closer to that side of things or maybe if when they re reach a certain age and realize that maybe they've been missing out on understanding who they are within and it's unfortunate that people we are constructed in these certain ways and you know with our backgrounds and pasts we we have a tendency to lean to what towards one of these ways of seeing the world so again this is a mindful way of living it's just closed-minded um so it's just not an open-minded person as we only see th things through what we understand we won't accept any other perspective or world view so this can get into very heated arguments and debates and discussions which again can be good to see different perspectives so that's a great thing and it's great to have it backed up by an intellectual it's like spirituality is great when it's backed up by science but if you are like this maybe if someone is a spirit you know spiritual you might you might want to just consider being open-minded about what they have to say you don't necessarily have to agree with their opinion and you don't have to do anything yourself but you don't have to be dismissive or reject and um, dismiss people um, in in that way just because they're not they don't have the same thoughts and feelings the way you do because we're all different and we all just want to be accepted and loved and cared for and supported so yeah um so guys that theory um we to seek um and explain lesson three so this lesson is seeing with your heart so this is an open and reflective way of seeing the world and other people so the metaphorical meaning for this is if I get this right hurry oh hurry oh hurry oh and I have double checked this but I think it's hurry oh okay so that's a metaphorical meaning so it means perceiving without prejudice meaning to see the truth of what's going on you want to see the truth of what's going on in the world and you are willing to do that through many different perspectives and you're willing to be very open to other people and what other people have to say and you give lots of love and compassion you're very mindful uh, about the way that you are being presented to the world so what is truth and how do we become mindful of it okay so your daily life is relevant now and the ultimate truth of life is different the truth is what's happening inside you and to you and around you on a second by second basis what is true for you in your most important relationships? So ask yourself that question. What is true for you in your most important relationships? This is your, this is your truth, especially to start with, making yourself as true as you can be. This way of seeing is past all of the other ways of seeing and solely focusing on the truth itself. Ask yourself these deep questions and you want to 
you want to know more in any way about life and about yourself and you want to discover the reasons why you act the way that you do you know why are you sad why are you happy why are you filled with joy why is there a massive void that needs filling why why do i respond to this person in a certain way and how does this person make me feel so we want to know the truth behind everything by us all of the time so now we've gone through all three all three of those lessons all three different ways of seeing the world and it's time to just reflect on which way do you see the world which way is most like the way you are as a person in your personality in the way you interact with the world so ask yourself this question in what scenario have you seen with your eyes with reasoning and with your heart and how did you feel after then ask yourself what are your reasons for listening to this video to enhance your own life to enhance other people's lives this is a starting point to then produce more meaning and purpose in our life which ultimately helps us with our mental state of living owning our strengths learning discipline and becoming self-aware to gaining sensitivity to our present moment in essence mindfulness is becoming more aware of yourself your actions as well as becoming aware of other people around you and helping them enhance their lives just the way you should be enhancing your life goodbye for now i'll speak to you soon